good morning everybody yesterday we discussed many things that we can review today what we have covered yesterday that is basics of small business accounting balance sheet income statements cash flow statement we didn't explain anything especially we discussed besides that accounts payable accounts payable we already discussed in details same like accounts receivable accrual basis accounting assets balance sheet cash basis accounting double entry bookkeeping liabilities profit and loss account or income statement these things yesterday we covered we already discussed now we are going to discuss about how to do small business accounting that is a simple thing accounting is an essential part of running a business that everybody knows because why the company is appointing the accountant because they need it to run the business profitably or without a loss or efficiently run the business so that is the reason why the company is appointing an accountant so the accountant must respond for or he must address the questions that is arises for day to day accounting functions or day to day requirement of the company whether you are a small mom and pop shop or a large corporation with the business accounting basics under your belt you will be able to get started on keeping track of your company's financial information that means every accountant or every financial controller must have control about the company's financial mistakes and a small business accounting is done by recording all of the income and expenses your company generates and using information to make forecast generates invoices complete payroll and file taxes so the right time you have to pay your tax right time you have to pay your salary to your employees that is a, a must employees are the precious assets of the company and you are running your business with your employees employees providing you their mind their muscle and their ideas and you have to survive in the competitive atmosphere competitive environment and the globalized world you have to require competitive advantage so you to achieve that or you to achieve the aims or target to the company you have to maintain the proper staff and you have to pay them the right time so daily business accounting tax an accountant have to focus on daily basis some functions that is check the cash position since the cash is the fuel for your business the cash drives your business you never want to be running on or near empty start your day by checking how much cash you have and knowing how much you expect to receive and how much you expect to pay during the upcoming weeks and months in important too okay <clears throat> you require money to run the business so from where it will come the capital contributed by shareholders or the entrepreneur that is with us the money is distributed for buying the goods and we are buying goods from some vendors we are uh, giving to the customers and the cash flow the cash is circulating so every month you have to pay your obligations you have to pay your electricity bill you have to pay your rent you have to pay your salary you have to pay repairs and maintenance you have to pay for the fuel so there is overhead there in the business from where this money will come the circulation of the stock when we are buying the stock it will come to our uh, go down or warehouse and it will be sell it to the, our customers that will goes to customers then how the money will come because we are getting the uh, goods from the vendors for 30 days or uh, 60 days or 90 days credit we are giving to our uh, customers maybe 30 days 60 days 90 days 120 days that is based on the terms of payment terms of payment with the vendor or terms of payment with the customers so we need to run the business daily basis monthly basis so we need money from where this money will come you have to pay your vendors so you have to collect the receivables when account may, uh, maybe there is uh, hundreds of uh, customers in our list we have hundreds of customers in our company so maybe one customer or two customer according to the times of payment somebody will pay 30 days somebody will pay uh, 60 days somebody will pay 90 days or 120 days so we have to predict how much money we have to pay in a 
months. How much we required money for to exist or survive in one month? So we have to adjust the money. We have to pay our ob obligations, salary, including salary, accounts the payables, or daily expenses, and the overheads we have to pay. So from where we have uh, we get the money? That you have you sold already the goods to the customers. You collect the money at the right time from the receivables or the customers. You collect it and you manage your money. Meet the expenses daily basis. So you require to check the check check cash position daily. Since the cash is the fuel for your business, you never want to be running on or near MD. Start your day by checking how much cash you have and knowing how much you expect to receive, how much you have to pay, how much you have to receive, and how much you expect to pay during the upcoming weeks. We have to predict for the next weeks, next month, or next quarter. We have to predict the requirement of your cash. That is the proper way to manage the cash, manage the company, or manage the accounts. If you can't pay the right time to your employees or to your vendor, it will affect your goodwill of the company. That you, we have to check. Weekly accounting tax. So, daily you have to check the cash and everything you have to check but weekly you have to particularly you have to check record all the transactions you know the business there is uh, many transactions will ha happen that is you are purchasing you are selling you are paying your expenses like if you will electricity salary wages and all the overheads you are paying so you have to record all the transactions in the right time we are discussing about the weekly accounting tax, record transactions, document and file receipts. When a customer made a payment, you have to make a receipt. You have to maintain the, you have to keep the records. Review unpaid bills from uh, vendors. The vendors will uh, send you the invoice or a statement of account on the month of the uh, end of the month. That time also, you have to review that one. How much we have to pay or you have to take the aging reports from the computer. Uh, why this uh, computer uh, application or computer software or accounting software how it will help you the account accounting software will help you that uh, if you make a accounts payable or, or invoice that a good supplied uh, by the vendor that you are recording it when you will give the due date to the computer then it will summarize all the bills how much how many bills and how much amount we have to pay in the end of the month that will shows you you can take the aging report from the Software that will uh, give you the more more informations that will help you to manage the payments. So review unpaid bills from vendors, pay vendors and sign checks. If there is a uh, maybe thousands of uh, bills uh, we have to pay, that maybe hundred hundred uh, vendors there, we will make. The, uh, normally there is a automatic check we can make from automatically because the modern life we are using the computerized accounting. It is uh, the human life, the software is, that is the benefit of our technology. Technology make our life easy. So you can take the aging report, you can uh, arrange the payment through the computer. Now, now these days everything is we included in the software or we automatic, automatically printing the checks, how, how much money is uh, due now to the vendors that we are preparing through the mechanical way. This is everything automated. That is in the uh, advanced companies. Then there is small uh, small companies that we, we are preparing manually. So it is according to the company. So anyway, you have to focus on weekly basis accounting tax. You have to focus on pay vendors and sign checks and give it to them the right time. Prepare and send invoices. If maybe the delivery notes, delivery department of the company delivered goods to many companies because those companies send local purchase order or purchase order to your company so the delivery department warehouse they will deliver the goods to them and they will gives you the delivery note based on the delivery note you are generating you are generating the invoices to those customers to whom we delivered the goods so right time maybe the 30 days or 60 days or 90 days we are giving payment period to the, those companies so we invoice them right time then send it invoice to them and collect the money at the right time because the right time you need money because you have to pay to your vendor 
you have to meet your expenses all over head heads are waiting for you so you have to manage it right time send invoices right time collect money that from the accounts receivable that will help you to manage the cash properly and review projected cash flow there is another thing in the weekly accounting task is review projected cash flow so based on these things we, normally we are preparing the cash flow statement that is how much we are going to receive how much we have to pay for the uh, when uh, cust uh, vendors vendors this is both vendor customer this both we are tie up collect mon uh, money from the customers pay to vendors then from where the money to pay the overheads the, we are making the profit that is from the profit or anyway this is uh, not the technical way this we have to manage we have to manage the weekly or monthly cash flows or how much we have to pay how much we have to get from outside that is the cash management review projected cash flow so coming to the record transactions but uh, here record each transaction billing customers receiving cash from customers paying vendors daily or weekly depending on volume although recording transactions manually or in a digital spreadsheet is uh, acceptable it is probably easier to use a small business accounting software like a quickbooks the benefit and uh, control for outweigh the cost so uh, why this is they are mentioning the quickbooks this because this summarized statement or summarized uh, uh things i am following is from cookbooks that uh, there is some lady i will uh, give her name uh kristen evald kristen evald is summarized these things here so i am following her so that is uh, uh, she is from the cookbooks the cookbooks uh, version is there and uh, is uh, advanced version is uh, page 3 so she is from cookbooks so she is uh, she has mentioned that it is uh, for cookbooks okay so come to check gas positions weekly accounting tax we all already discussed and record transactions you have to record your uh, uh, billing you have to bill with uh, your delivery note at the right time and uh, receive cash from the customers at the right time paying vendors at right time daily or weekly depending on volume although recording transactions manually or in a digital spreadsheet is acceptable okay then we are going to the third step document and file receipts keep copies of all invoices that is already inside the computer because in the modern world there is everywhere they are using the accounting software so it is inside the software uh, just cut here and uh, we will discuss something uh, about the keeping the records when we will make the accounting software in the company and we are invoicing we are uh, getting invoices we are making everything entries in the computer software so the data maintenance is very important that uh, maybe in your company there is a system analyst or a system controller or somebody is there in technical area otherwise you have to take care of your data because the any time anything will happen the data will stolen the computer may failure so you have to take your data backup every day this is compulsory you have to take the uh, backup of your data from your computer or uh, what is the system you are using there maybe big tower there Uh, something in uh, big uh, companies th there is uh, other than the computer they are keeping some other equipments there for to storing the data because the transactions are huge quantity of data is there so they have to maintain something uh, different uh, storing capacity there so you have to careful about to, to make the backup data every day that is compulsory normally we are taking two copies one copy inside the uh, company one copy outside the company by the responsible person so that is a normal case okay come to our point keep keep copies of all invoices sent all cash receipts cash check and credit cash deposit and all cash payments cash check credit card statements etc in the modern uh, life we are paying through credit cards or debit cards that is arranged by the company or uh, cash check we are preparing and sometimes we are generating in a big quantity of checks through printed pre printed check leaves because uh, the old fashion is we are writing the each and every checks in the office that is uh, required time it is a time time consuming function but modern companies are if there is uh, under some uh, vendors there they are maintaining the computerized automated uh, printed check leaf there 
it will automatically print and that you have to take it and get sign it and you are sending to your vendors that is a uh, big company the procedure is uh, following if you if you are in a small company it is you are manually writing the checks so just to mention that one document and file receipts keep copies of all invoices sent all cash receipts cash check and credit card deposits and all cash payments cash check credit card statements okay review unpaid bills from vendors you have to manage your accounts payables because we agreed with them some terms of payments how we will pay because maybe it will be 30 days or 60 days or 90 days and 120 days this is the terms of payment to vendors so review unpaid bills from vendors how you you will manage the big data the big data that you can take the aging report from your computer then you can easily understand how much bill do you want this month and how much going to the next month due and after that how much it is going to do so based on this you are preparing your cash flow statements so that will help you to manage your cash and you can uh, how much you can predict how much is uh, expenses are coming and how much we are going to receive and how much overheads are there to meet so income from outside collection we have to pay to our uh, vendors collection from customers pay to vendors and meet also your overheads that is uh, saying here review unpaid bills from vendors because this is the point we have to manage the cash pay vendors and sign checks this is a weekly responsibility of an accountant review unpaid bills from vendors pay vendors and sign checks prepare and send the invoices review project cash flow cash flow you have to manage you have to review your uh, cash flow statement because otherwise maybe you will fill in short of cash that time it will be very difficult so don't spoil the goodwill of your company where you are working you have to manage your cash flow so this is uh, we are uh, following daily basis weekly basis and the accountant must have it to focus on monthly accounting tasks balance your business checkbook so monthly you have it to reconcile your checkbook that means you have it to reconcile your bank statement with your cash book cash book maybe there is uh, one bank column there you have to manage the bank column in your cash book and the bank statement you have to tally with both this account how uh, how you will manage it because maybe some receipt you received it is you have already deposited the bank and the bank is already not not collected the money so it will don't appear in your uh, bank statement so maybe uh, we will guess that the money will come inside the bank and we can pay the our obligations but actually maybe it won't happen there that time the check may retain that will be affect your good will of your company so to manage that you have to give some grace period it to make it collection the check is that you are received is going to the collection section and they will arrange it will come to your bank branch and they will credit your account that is the procedure normally going on in the company bank that is the things going on there so that you have to keep in your mind the check will once you send the check it may be the due date it don't be in your account that you have to take care of otherwise you will expect it will be in the bank and we can issue against that amount a check no you have to confirm the amount that is credited in your account after that only you can issue a check covering that amount the total balance of your uh, bank account review past due receivables maybe different uh, cases the company that we supplied the goods they will pay in 30 days according to the terms of payment they will give you the money in 30 days or 60 days 90 days 100 days they will give you sometimes there is it will exceed because of due to some internal problems exceed or happened in the customer company so that time you will expect money from them it will be delay that is normal so you have to manage that one analyze review past due receivables 
So sometimes you will forget or you will avoid. You, 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 maybe you don't care about how much uh, you have to receive this month from your customers. The aging report shows you how much uh, dues, how much you have to collect from this, uh, this month. Because we are giving the due date of every invoice we generated. So it will automatically show you this is due on 30 days, this is due on 60 days, something like that. So review past due receivables, analyze inventory status. Then another uh, thing is you have to manage. There is a stock repair there, stock controller there, even though the accountant have an eye on the stock. Maybe uh, there is no, uh, no stock keeper or uh, there is no stock controller there. Then that time the accountant have to focus on analyze inventory status because when you will purchase from the vendors and you are uh, providing this or you are supplying, you are giving to your customers and you are invoicing. Your requirement is uh, in many quantities. That is varies according to the requirement of the customers and uh, it will vary. But you have it to maintain. When customer asks, we have to provide the goods to them. So we have to maintain the stock. That is uh, a wide area of uh, stock management or inventory management. That is a wide area. So even though I am uh, just mentioning uh, how the stock is managing. So you will uh, take your average inventory how much quantity you required in your daily basis or weekly basis or monthly basis monthly how much quantity of materials or stock finished goods anything that you need from your vendor how much quantity you required you have to take from the computer the average average requirements so based on that you can give give the purchase order it to the vendor so they will know if the vendor take the time that is based on the nature of the uh, goods that you are dealing if the vendor take more than uh, 10 days or 15 days 30 days to uh, supply the materials you have to think it from 30 days back so the computer software will provide you how much is your requirement of this month that is based on the past records the past uh, statistics provide you useful informations you can use the informations and you can predict your requirement of stock and you can order this one. If your uh, vendor is uh, taking a uh, few days or one month, you, you have to arrange the LP or local purchase order or the purchase order to the vendor prior these 30 days. So the right time they can deliver. That is the technique we are managing the stock. Now, uh, coming to the next uh, Process or review payroll and approve tax payments. Okay. Now, employees are assets of your company. Employees are precious, precious thing in your company because the brain is working from the employees. They are giving the ideas. So you have to keep the human resource in a proper manner and you have to give them a right time their payroll, their salary and approve tax payments. The salary will deduct the taxes. You, you can deduct the tax, and uh, there is another. The software will allow you to make the uh, salary in your computerized way. So that will be very uh, easy. The controversial or the what it is called the complicated tax. The complicated tax automatically you have the options there. How much tax is going to deduct from the salary, or what is the uh, a tax rate that is there, that already there in the software that we the uh, automatically there because uh, these days uh, everything on ERP or uh, everything on in a centralized uh, area of software you are working on ERP level and the software is uh, updating when the tax rate or the taxes varies the government may change the tax rates according to sometimes then the we have to change the tax rate on the software so in erp system it is easy they will automatically change the option and we have to uh, only calculate the tax uh, payroll that is salary on the erp system only but suppose come to from the erp system and if you are we are manually doing this we have to uh, give the uh, tax rate there it will deduct and we have to arrange the payroll and approve tax payments the ERP system and everything we will uh, come to individually and we will discuss later on. Now we are, uh, I am covering this area only. These areas we will go details in future because 
everything is important everything uh, this is i am speaking it uh, practically practically because it is not theoretically you have it to learn it theoretically and you have it to come over this practically because today you will learn the theoretical lessons then tomorrow you are going to do it in practically so i will mention in practical areas and uh, some minute areas i will mention here sometimes i will explain here so that is why i am uh, doing this because you are now learning this one now tomorrow you are going to do it practically that time it will help you to solve many problems because the theory will give you something idea when you are in practical you have to manage many many things inside that is connecting with the software and other functions in the accounting area so process or review payroll and approve tax payments review actual profit loss versus budget and versus prior period so monthly you have to do we have some predicted predicted or projected income statement for this month or the coming month or quarterly or half yearly there is some predicted budgeted statement there so we have to compare with that actually how much sales we made in this period or this month or quarterly we will compare before prior to this one we already prepared a prediction or or projection or budgeted how much is going to happen the sales next week or next month and how much is expenses are coming we already predicted a profit and loss account and we already budgeted something we are we have data previous data with us the last month we made 100 100000 this month based on the future the previous data we can predict how much we will make this month or make this quarter or half yearly or yearly we can predict it when we predict it we achieved it or not we have compare we have to compare with the actual versus the prediction so that time we can understand oh we achieved our target or we exceeded our target or we are below the target so that will help you review actual profit loss versus budget stand versus prior period review month and balance sheet versus prior period so monthly we are uh, preparing balance sheet inga statement already there we will uh, prepare the balance sheet so review the balance sheet with the predicted balance sheet that is month basis we are doing review month and balance sheet versus prior period okay daily basis uh, we already covered monthly basis we already covered now quarterly accounting tax quarterly so three quarters there three into four tol months there our accounting period is uh, tol months the starting date is uh, 1st april in indian uh, ways uh, we are starting 1st april but uh, normally some other companies are in 1st january internationally or uh, when they are started it, it may be different then after that they will adjust with the uh, financial period of the government uh, to follow the tax is here so that is another subject we will come to that one. so quarterly accounting tax quarterly you have to focus and you have to face you have to solve some uh, functions quarterly accounting tax prepare revised annual profit and loss estimate when quarterly you know the companies are uh, publishing their uh, reports because they want to satisfy the shareholders or whatever it is maybe there is a law per uh, allowing or the law is insisting them to publish the data or some other purpose the companies are publishing quarterly so prepare revised annual p and l estimate you can prepare the anticipated or budgeted or projected or predicted p and l account p and l means profit and loss account or income statement that you can uh, prepare that means revised because the situation is the, when the end of the quarter there is a situation is changed the actual versus prediction that is changed so you have to prepare revised annual profit and loss estimate review quarterly payroll reports and make payments quarterly payroll reports and make payments okay monthly we are paying maybe yearly pay uh, half yearly pay quarterly pay anyway that you have to the salary you have to review compute estimated income tax and make payments so you can't uh, escape from the income tax you have to pay 
the income tax at the right time. Compute estimated income tax and make payments. You know how much you are going to make based on the predicted income statement. This much is we are going to make the profit. So this much is, this percentage is our tax obligation. So you have to calculate the tax obligation and you have to pay. Maybe in future or the, it, it will be vary. That we can adjust, adjust later on. That is uh, possible. Prepare revision annual PNL estimate. Review quarterly payroll reports and make payments. Review sales tax and make quarterly payments. Compute estimated income tax and make payments. Annual business accounting tax. So this is uh, exceeded our time today. This is uh, 46 minutes and uh, we will follow the next today. Thank you. Thank you for watching.